Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to our luxury home channel. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens, which is in between Daytona Beach and Miami on the east coast of Florida. We're in a community called Olton and this home is built by Coulter. The home itself is a five bedroom, five full bath, one half bath home with 5,198 square feet and they are selling the model. So this will be an opportunity that doesn't come along too often where you can purchase the model with all the interior design and furniture that we'll see as we walk through the home. The current price, our asking price of the home is $3,374,870. $76. If you're interested in more information on this home, make sure you give me a call at 407-487-3030. You can call, text, or my email will be below in the description as well. Get you all the information about this specific home. So let's go ahead and talk about the exterior of the home. We do have a paved driveway coming up. We have a two-car garage over to the left and a one-car garage in front of us. We have this beautiful decorative tile going all the way up. And of course, this is a modern contemporary design with the angled roof that you see. We have these really cool carriage lights on either side of the garage and also on, the, on either side of the front entryway. Really huge picture windows going up where you can see the modern light fixtures that we'll see when we go into the home. And of course, a very elevated covered front patio area. So as I step up to the front entry, we'll see that tile work continues up on this side as well. Let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. Let me go ahead and shut the door behind me. So the first thing I noticed as I walk into this home is how wide the entryway is. And then I look down, we have porcelain tiles. They're very large porcelain tiles that go throughout the first floor of the home. Over to my left are the stairs going up to the second floor. And then of course, above us, we do have some very nice tall ceilings with a double tray. And of course, these light fixtures that are very modern looking hanging down. We have three of them hanging down from the upstairs ceiling. So over to my right is a door. This door goes to the one car garage. We'll show you that later. But then we come into the dining room. So this is the formal dining room. It's currently set up for eight people to sit around and enjoy a nice meal. And then when, if I look at it, everything's done really well. The interior designers did a good job. And that's the advantage of buying a model home. You get that interior design all included. So we have the wallpaper, which is bordered by this really nice woodworking design going all the way throughout on either side of the uh, wallpaper. And then as I look over, we do have three large picture windows looking out to the side yard. And above me, we do have that same wallpaper above me that's also bordered in white. Um, and of course, recessed lights with this beautiful chandelier coming down from the center of the dining room. So as I go and continue into the home, I'll have Haley, who is my daughter and also filming us today, uh, go back towards the front entryway. So you get a good idea of what you'll see as soon as you walk in, you'll see a little bit of the dining room. And then of course, behind us, you'll see the living room, the picture windows going to the outdoor living area. So follow me this direction. Let's go ahead and talk about the living room. So this is currently designed really nice. Got some really good taste in uh, furniture choices here as well. Now, if you are interested in buying this home, the furniture is an option to purchase as well. So if you are interested, make sure you give us a call and we can tell you all about it. On this room here, we do have that decorative wall on the far side with that same wallpaper we saw in the dining room and the same sort of woodworking design on either side of the wallpaper. And of course, above us is this really cool chandelier coming down from the ceiling. So let's go ahead and talk about the kitchen, which is right here. The center island is huge. It's absolutely huge. As you come over here, you can probably see it compared to me, how big this center island is. Um, we do have the beautiful countertops with really cool designs going through it. It has a waterfall edge. And then above us, if I look above us, we have a tray ceiling that goes all the way from the kitchen, all the way down to the family room with this really nice gray beams going throughout with a really cool design. And above the kitchen, we have a floating ceiling that floats down from the tray ceiling with these four pennant lights coming down from that floating ceiling. And then over to my left, we're gonna have our refrigerators, they're monogram refrigerators, and we have two of them, so no need for one in your garage and one in your kitchen. You have actually two full-size refrigerators here in the kitchen. So currently got plenty of water, so we'll probably take one before we leave today. And then we also have one right next to it. That's the exact same monogram refrigerator right next to that. So, and as we go into the kitchen, we'll go ahead and go right. And then we're gonna show you all the different cabinets, beautiful cabinet work. If I open and close it, we do have the soft close uh, drawers. Of course, countertop with the backsplash, and we have plenty of cabinets, even display cabinets on the top of the cabinets as well. And then over to my left is gonna be the pantry. The pantry has some really nice custom built-in shelves. So you have plenty of space here for all your dry goods. Got everything that you need. You can go right to the dining room where Haley is right now, or we can come back in through the kitchen. We have our monogram range and microwave combo. So you're all set there. And then as we continue through, we have the cabinets continue with the solid surface, white counters, the real beautiful backsplash with sort of aqua marine colors and whites. We come over to a five burner GE gas stovetop 
with a pot filler and of course the vent and then the display cabinets right at the top with even some recessed lights in the display cabinet area. Over to my right is gonna be the center island. Now, the cabinets here are white, which contrasts good with the gray colors on the other side. Everything, a lot of whites and grays and silvers in this house. Of course, the sink with a faucet, and then right next to it is the dishwasher. So follow us to the family room. So as we come into the family room, you'll notice that those ceilings, tray ceilings continue over into the family room. And then we step in, we have some really nice furniture. And then over to my right, we do see that we have the same backsplash that we had in the kitchen is as a decorative wall or accent wall here in the family room. And it is surrounded by the gray border, which matches the ceiling. As we continue through, we'll see lots of really large windows throughout this home over to my right. And then as we come over to the breakfast nook, we come into a curved area with five picture windows going all the way around where you can look outside and you'll see your outdoor living area. And then also all the tropical uh, palm trees behind the fence line on your back of your property. So this is your breakfast nook currently set up for six people to sit around. And of course, with a light fixture coming from the center of the room. So let's go ahead and we'll pass some more windows looking out into your backyard and then our sliding glass door that takes us into our outdoor kitchen area and also pool that we'll show you later on in the video. So follow me this direction, we'll go ahead and go into the primary bedroom suite. So we're going from the porcelain tile to engineered hardwood floors. So as we come into the primary suite, one thing you'll notice is we have our king size bed, really large end tables on either side. And of course we have our picture windows on either side of the end tables, some really cool decor. The interior designer did a good job here as well. Uh, above us is a tray ceiling. We have a couple crown molding areas going around. And of course, really cool decorative designs with the woodworking and recessed lights with this beautiful chandelier coming down from the center of the room. So we continue to go through and we go from the engineered hardwood to another set of porcelain tiles. This is a little bit different than the rest of the home. The other ones were solid white. These ones are white with the gray streaks through it. So very beautiful um, porcelain tile floors. And then let's talk about our sink area. So we have our gray cabinets, really beautiful countertops with the sink. And then of course the mirror goes all the way up to the ceiling and they're very tall ceilings here and it's bordered with that same gray color that we saw through the family room and kitchen. And of course, light fixture coming out of the mirror as we continue into the bathroom, we have our garden tub right here in the center. Of course, we have the picture windows looking out to the side yard. And then we continue to go down and we see the second sink area, same sort of gray cabinets and the countertops. And then the mirror, the mirror on this one goes all the way around. I have to stand right here so that Haley does not get on camera. If you've watched my videos, you know that uh, Haley's a little camera shy, but we're trying to get her over that really soon. Uh, we do have our towel or linen closet. So you have plenty of space here for all your towels. And that, of course, soft clothes as well. Then right next door is gonna be our closet. This is a really nice closet. It's a good size closet. It's bigger than some rooms. As we walk in, we can see we have our custom cabinetry throughout. We have plenty of space. We even have a little space here for your ties or belts. And of course, plenty of spaces for all your clothes, drawers for anything that you need to put in drawers. We have a room here that goes into the, under the stairs or the Harry Potter room. So a little secret little area, maybe you can put seasonal storage there. And then we come into the rest of the closet. As you can see, the space just continues to go through. Plenty of spaces for shoes and clothes, everything that you need. They even have a mirror. So once you get everything and get all changed up, you can come to the mirror, get all ready for the day. Looking for a sponsorship too. If anyone wants uh, me to dress differently, be more than happy to talk about sponsorship and maybe Men's Warehouse can uh, sponsor us and we can have a different uh, look every time we do a video. But anyway, let's go ahead and go this direction to the shower and show you the shower. As we come to the shower, we do have the frameless shower opens up really nice and of course on the floor we have the penny tile in gray and then the same tile that was on the floor of the bathroom we see go up on the walls of the shower all the way up to the ceiling with this beautiful gray tile in the center and of course we have a couple shower heads as well the water closet is right next door and if you buy this house you get a really fancy toilet so as i walk in let's see if we can get this on camera as we walk in it just opens up all by itself and ready to go so follow me this direction that the primary bathroom done We'll come back through the primary bedroom. From this angle, you'll see the picture windows looking out on the pool area. And of course, all the beautiful landscape. You can see the, the trees with the beautiful purple flowers coming out from this direction as well. Really nice to wake up to that. So let's go ahead and go to the front of the house. Now, if you haven't done already, you enjoy watching these videos, please make sure you like the videos and subscribe. Both me and Haley would enjoy it. And of course, if you are a, a realtor, uh, a builder, or a homeowner and you like us to feature your home 
on our channel, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to discuss that with you as well. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in Florida, Georgia, or Tennessee, give us a call as well. We have great partners throughout all those states oh, and to show you. So before we go over there, let's go ahead and show you the single car garage. Just because this one's for sale, I do wanna show you everything that it has. So as I come in here, you can see this is the one car garage with the epoxy floors. So they did a really good job with the epoxy on these floors here, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that behind me. We'll go across the hallway, past the stairs and go into the office. It's a really nice office, uh, really close to the front door as well. We come into engineered hardwood floors. We have some really nice built-in cabinets. So you have plenty of storage, a little desk area that pops out. Uh, so you can sit here, if you have someone to come in, you could be sitting here talking to them, a TV in the middle. Um, what was really neat is we weren't too sure what this wall was, if it was wallpaper or paneling, but it is sort of three-dimensional to touch. I think it's really beautiful. It is uh, bordered by that white border. And we have the floating shelves as well, going all the way up to the ceiling. And then talking about the ceiling, the ceiling is the tray ceiling with the gray beams going across, light fixture coming up. And if I look on the other side, the other side, we also have an accent wall with wood paneling going up on that with a couple light fixtures coming out of the wall. And of course, behind me, a couple huge picture windows. So let's go ahead and go right and show you what we have down here. So this is the two car garage entryway. So we have a drop zone so you can leave shoes here, keys, whatever you might need. We have some storage area right here in the front of the house for that. And then over to my right is going to be the half bath. Uh, half bath has some really nice floating cabinets, countertop, a floating sink, of course with a faucet, the mirror that goes all the way up and is framed. It's really cool. Sort of two mirrors and one in a light fixture above the sink area. We have our toilet and then it continues over into the laundry room with our washer dryer, uh, beautiful cabinets, countertops, a window looking out to the side yard. We even have extra storage on the cabinets above as well. So let's go ahead and show you the two car garage just right through this door. So I'll open it up and I'll let Haley walk in and show you. So you have the two car garage with the epoxy floors. Also a couple picture windows in there as well. Let me go ahead and close that back up. And then the next will be going upstairs and showing you the second floor. But before we go up there, talk to you a little bit about the stairs. The stairs are some really nice engineered hardwood floors going all the way up and of course with the metal railing. So let's go ahead and check out the second floor. All right, so here we are on the second floor of this home. So as I come up here, we see that we have engineered hardwood floors throughout the second floor. And as I come up, you'll see the railing going all the way around the entryway. And this gets you a really good view of those three modern light fixtures that come down from the entryway and how tall it is. And also all the way over to the front entry picture windows that we saw from the front of the home. So follow me in this direction, we're gonna go ahead and go to bedroom number two. Now all the bedrooms here are oversized. All of them have bathrooms and all of them have walk-in closets. So as we come into this bedroom, we you see we have our bed and table on your side, windows looking out to the front yard. And then we go over to the left. We move from this really nice plush carpet to porcelain tile with really nice gray patterns going throughout. We have a uh, light brown cabinet, really beautiful countertop that has sparkles through it as well. And of course the mirror that goes all the way up to the ceiling and it's framed with the same color cabinet work that we saw on the bottom cabinets as well. We have our toilet behind us. And then on the other side, we do have our shower. It is a frameless shower. And then the tile that we had on the floor continues all the way up to the wall with the gray tile in the middle, very similar to the primary bedroom suite. And then right next to that is gonna be your walk-in closet. So this is a very spacious walk-in closet for a second bedroom. So let's go ahead and go back over to the other side and show you bedroom number three. So follow me this direction. As we go over here, we go back into our engineered hardwood floors and go to our left. You'll get a really good glimpse of the living area upstairs with like a game area and then a bar area. We'll show you that in just a second. But we come over and the first thing we have is the secondary laundry room. So if the laundry room downstairs wasn't big enough for you, this one should cover you because this is a nice size laundry room. We have our washer and dryer right in front of us. Cabinets going all the way around us on this room and cabinets on the bottom as well. Tons of storage for everything you need. We have plenty of counter space. So if you wanted to fold clothes, you'd be able to fold clothes right here as well. And then of course we have our sink. And then right in front of the sink, we do have a picture window looking out on the side yard. So plenty of space here. They even have decorative cabinets on the top if you wanted to put anything decorative in the laundry room. You may just want to do that. So let's go ahead and go right. This is Haley's favorite bedroom. So 
if you're interested in what she likes the best, this will be the one that she chooses. So right over to the right, we do have another large walk-in closet. So plenty of space here for all your clothes. And as we continue into the bedroom, you'll see that it's a nice size bedroom. It's bigger than a lot of people's primary bedroom suites. We have a king size bed, a couple of end tables on either side. What's really nice here is that we have the wall with the violet color. And then on either side, we have the really cool woodworking designs on either side of the wall. As we come over, we'll go over into the bathroom. So as we come to the bathroom, we do have the white porcelain tiles, a little bit darker brown cabinets with the solid surface countertops. We have brass uh, faucet, and of course the mirror that goes all the way up with the black um, border around it. And of course the light fixture as well, popping out of the mirror. And then behind me is gonna be a frameless shower with we have some black tile on the floor, some light color tile going up. And then we have decorative tile in the middle with iridescent tiles going throughout all different color shades of purples and greens and, and yellows throughout those iridescent colors. So really, really beautiful there. And as we come back out of the bathroom, I wanna talk about this uh, wall that we have. So the interior designers did a great job here as well. We have that same violet color with the same sort of wood design on either side. We have floating shelves built into it as well in black. And as we continue down the hallway, it goes from this really nice woodworking pattern to a really big full mirror. So right next to the closet, so you come out of the closet, you have the mirror right in front of you. And that same wood design that we have on either side continues on the other side of the mirror as well. So follow me this direction. Let's go ahead and show you the entertainment area of the uh, second floor. So as I come to this area, we'll go into what could be the loft, game room, family room, whatever you wanna use it for. They've actually split this into two different sections and they've had this really neat hanging glass piece coming down. It's got a splatter design on it to give you a different, two different living areas here in the loft area. So over on this side, sort of like the entertaining area where you can watch movies, they have plenty of drawers for all your DVDs or whatever you may need. Solid surface countertops. You can even have your popcorn and everything here. We have really beautiful tile work on the wall. And we have, of course, the three gray woodworking pieces going up to the ceiling as well that matches the ceiling. We have floating shelves. So you can put all your decor up on the floating shelves. It's all about popcorn and bubble gum. And then we even have a beverage refrigerator and sink. So everything you need, even some fake popcorn that probably could come with the house as well if you buy this specific home. Above us, we have tray ceilings. The tray ceilings are bordered with a really nice gray beam going all the way around. We have these four light fixtures hanging down over the entertainment area. And then we go over to the game room section. We pass the large sliding glass door to this entertainment area. We have a couch here with a little area where you can sit, plenty of dice here. They have a little Yahtzee game a foosball game and then we even have a tv on this side as well with that same tile work that we saw on the other side it is framed by that same gray woodworking on either side with the light fixture that pops out of the woodwork so really nice little out upstairs living here a very spacious area up here i'm sure everyone would really enjoy hanging out in the second floor of this house so if we go this direction we see that we have bedroom number four again a very very spacious bedroom it looks like a queen size bed um, the end table is like a big mechanics tool set. So it's huge, it's like twice the size of the end table. And then on the other side, we even have a desk. We have lots of blacks and whites and grays in here. So you definitely have a really good design with the reds to pop everything throughout. So the interior designer did a good job. Even the fan with the black blades with the industrial sort of fittings on it as well. Just everything just goes really well together. As we come from this really nice plush carpet, we go into the bathroom. The bathroom is ceramic tile floors, but they look like a fabric design on the ceramic tile. We do have black cabinets, really beautiful countertop. I like this with the whites and the blacks, a black faucet coming out as well. And then the mirror that's framed in black with a black light fixture. So those black and white themes just continues in through the bathroom. We have our toilet. And on the other side, this one does have a tub. The tub, it does have also the black hexagon tiles and then the subway tiles going all the way up with a picture window in the middle for some natural light. And then we continue to go through into the closet you know, the nice size closet also with the built-in shelves. So that is bedroom four. We have the fifth bedroom still to go. And if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our video. We definitely appreciate that. And we come this direction and go right. Um, we come into bedroom number five. So we do have another walk-in closet. So plenty of space here for, I mean, this is a fifth bedroom and all of them have walk-in closets, all of them have bathrooms. And then we see the, um, bedroom itself, 
king size bed, a couple of end tables on your side, picture windows on uh, above each of the end tables. Uh, this has got like a tropical theme, very bright room. I like the peach color archway around the bed with a floating shelf above the headboard as well with all the decorative uh, items above there. And then the wallpaper that we see is all nice and tropical, even a light fixture coming down from the ceiling. So let's go ahead and go left and show you the bathroom. So we come into ceramic tile floors. This one does have the white cabinets, nice countertops, and of course the mirror that's framed in white with the uh, light fixture coming out from the center as well. We have the frameless shower, pebble flooring, and then of course we have light color tile and also the turquoise tile in three places going out for the decorative tile. So that's all pretty cool. So follow me. Over this direction, we do see it still have to look at the uh, balcony and then the outdoor living area. So as we come this direction, we get a really good view of the living area up here and then the sliding glass doors. So I'll open this up. It can open up like a, on either side. And then you can make the outdoor and indoor living come together. As we come out here, we have our living area. So a couple chairs, couch, a little decorative design on the wall. Above the living area, we have a fan. And we also have another fan over the dining area. So the dining area currently has six seats around it. So you can sit out here and enjoy a nice meal or maybe even play some board games in the beautiful Florida weather on the balcony. So we also have a railing going all the way around in gray. As I look over the railing, we see our outdoor living area was absolutely beautiful. We have some tropical landscaping and of course this huge pool. The pool has some decorative walls going out with a couple water fountains coming from each of the walls, palm trees behind the wall. And then we have a walking area going over to the jacuzzi with some beautiful tile work around the jacuzzi. We even have AstroTurf all the way around with some lounge chairs so you can enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. As I come back around, one of the things that I do notice is the jacuzzi. I love how the tile work goes and how it has the curve. The water from the jacuzzi flows over the tile work and goes in this little channel and the channel takes you all the way back into the pool area. And of course the pool is surrounded by this amazing tile work that goes all the way around the pool and also over into the covered living area. So the covered living area has a sitting area. So you can sit here, enjoy reading a book, having some conversations. And then right next to that, we have a dining area. Six people can sit out here and have some nice uh, barbecue because we do have the barbecue right next to it barbecue, little refrigerator, nice countertops. All this area is covered. Or you can come out over by the pool and enjoy the beautiful weather like we have today. We're in February of 2023. It's absolutely beautiful in the 80s and sunny. So if you're interested in moving to Florida, Georgia or Tennessee, make sure you give us a call. We have team members that work throughout. My phone number is 407-487-3030. All the contact information will be below for texting or emailing me as well. And until next week, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.